Alright y'all, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make decal trees like the ones you see on the screen here. So let's get into the video. First thing you want to do is go to the store and decals. And just type in tree. And find a tree that you'd like to use. Um, I'm not seeing any here. That would be good. Okay, let's try realistic tree. There we go. We we'll use this one right here. All right, so we're gonna copy the ID for the decal. Go into Roblox Studio. So first, just get a normal square park. I would recommend getting a player scale. I always do this anytime I build something. It's for reference. So we're gonna make, not a massive tree, but your average tree. You know, it's probably good right there. And then make sure it's anchored. And then I'm gonna turn off can collide because so just insert a decal into the part. Click where you want it. It's gonna paste in the ID, and then duplicate the decal, and then flip it to the other side. So now we have the decal on both sides, and then. We're going to make the transparency of the part one to make it invisible. So we just have the tree here. All right, so now we're going to duplicate the part with the decals on it. Flip it 90 degrees, and now we have this. But if you notice, when we go into the game here and you walk around the tree, it's kind of it kind of glitches, as you can see, like that. And I'll show you how to fix that in a second. So what you want to do is, you have the two parts here, um, go into one of the parts, select both the decals, go into the Z index right here and change this to zero. And then just do it on one side and then that will fix that problem of it glitching like that. Now um, the reason why we wanted to make the can collide turned off is because if somebody like walks right here They're just gonna collide with them and there's like nothing there So if you want to and you don't have to we can make a Part here where the actual tree trunk is So I'm gonna do that right now and then just take the decals off, make it invisible, and then we'll turn can collide on. So if somebody hits like the tree trunk right here, it um they collide with it. And we're just gonna take all of our parts, group them together. You can name your model, and then save it to Roblox or whatever you want to do with it, or place it somewhere. All right, so here's our tree, finished tree. It looks pretty good. And the reason why I'm going to be using decal trees in my game is because it just takes up less parts, which makes the game not as laggy and just optimized. And to me, they look fine. I mean, they don't, they look pretty realistic to me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more tips on Roblox Studio, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.